I'm back in the Essen Yacht Shipyard in Bodrum, Turkey, filming the third of the series of build videos, Building a Super Yacht, which follows the construction of the 155 foot sloop Troy. Now, anybody who knows anything about building luxury yachts will understand that the attention to detail of the parts of the yacht that can't be seen is really just as important as attention to detail of the parts of the yacht that can be seen. So yesterday when I was in the shipyard I was especially pleased to see the inside of the tender bays being painted and the bottom side of those large hatches covering the tender bays being fared by three workers with a fairing board. The boat's being built along with the MCA which is one of the highest standards in yacht building that, that exists. Um, but with that there are certain challenges. One of the challenges that the shipyard have had is that they have a large hatch on the aft deck. Now that hatch gives direct access to the master stateroom. It's a great feature on the yacht. But the MCA asks that where there's a hatch on the aft deck, um, a large lip 30 centimeters high be built all the way around that hatch. The reason for that is they're concerned that what happens if a large wave engulfs the aft deck, they want to know that the water won't penetrate into their hatch. A 30 centimeter high lip would work very, very well, of course, but it would look terrible. So the Essen Yacht designers and engineering team gave that some thought and they worked along with the MCA to get approval to go down 30 centimeters instead of up 30 centimeters. Now, what does that mean? It meant that they built a very good sized drainage system down 30 centimeters all the way around the outside of that hatch so that if a large wave does go over the aft deck it would simply go into the drainage system and drain away very quickly. Now that drain will be covered with some teak uh, lattice work so it will look great along with the rest of the teak uh, on the yacht it will look fantastic and it will serve the purpose very very well. Now I don't know if it's deliberate, but the finished cabinetry seems to be installed from the front area of the yacht moving aft. So I've seen the crew cabins in the bow area completely finished. Cabinetry is installed, reading lights have been fitted, even the televisions work in the crew quarters. Um, the guest cabins, when you move a little bit further aft, now they're still empty, but they're ready for the cabinetry to be fitted. That is to say the uh, wiring's been done, the plumbing's been done, it's all ready for furniture to be installed. And then in the master stateroom there's still a fair amount of work to be done. Now this is the largest cabin on the yacht of course, it takes up the entire beam of the vessel and here wires have been fitted to the inside of the hull to start to fit the insulation and to prepare the area for what's called a floating floor system which great, gives greater comfort to the owner and his guests on board. <laughs> For me though, the most exciting part of the construction at the moment is here in the galley. Now, Essignot have entered into an agreement with Electrolux. They supply a product called the Electrolux Grand Cuisine Cooking System. Basically, that takes the very best of industrial appliances, the best ovens, hot plates, blasts, chillers, things that you only ever see in a Michelin star kitchen, and they make it available in a very beautiful and sophisticated package for use in the home. It's really a kitchen for some very serious cooking to take place in. The agreement that Essen Yacht have with Electrolux is that they should be the first ever super yacht to have a Grand Cuisine cooking system installed on board. The equipment is already here in the shipyard and today is the day that it's going to be installed on board. Which brings me to the cabinetry shop. Essen Yacht have a totally separate division called Essen Yacht Furniture to build all of the cabinetry on board of Troy. And here you can see the cabinets that should be housing the Electrolux Grand Cuisine cooking system ready to be fitted on board. Now we've spoken a lot about different aspects of the build of the yacht in the various videos that we've produced. We've spoken about the engineering, uh, about the cabinetry, even about the artwork, but we haven't discussed much about the marketing of the yacht. The marketing actually has been assigned to Northrop and Johnson, who's the brokerage company that I work with, uh, to sell the yacht. And we do various things online, in print and boat shows, for example, to promote Troy as a yacht for sale. But something that Essen Yacht have done, which I really like, is producing an app for the Troy yacht. Now this app can be downloaded from iTunes and it allows you with your iPhone or with your iPad to go over a diagram of the yacht itself 
and actually have a virtual tour of the yacht. You can zoom in on certain areas, you can look into the cabins, you can even see how the tender bays and the transom door opens. Now in the description to this video below I've put a link where you can download the drawing and also a link to iTunes so that you can download the app for free. Do have a try at that and if you enjoy just being updated about the yachting world from a reliable on the spot finger on the pulse, pulse source then don't forget to subscribe to my channel.